What's going on everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Taking a look at this water deck that I made, this Utopic water deck. Uh, I'll talk about it, do some combos, um, and I have a couple of gameplay videos. I haven't been posting that much this week because I'm getting my teaching license. I just took like three exams yesterday, so back to a regular schedule, you know, over the next few weeks. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get into it, and I'll tell you all about this. So uh, I do run cross out in this deck because like you do lose really badly to hand traps. Uh, so Nibiru, Ghost Ogre, Effect Veiler, a couple of Ash Blossoms. I guess one of these could be like Ghost Bell, but Ash is the most commonly used hand trap in the game, obviously, along with like Imperm, which I don't know if it still is anymore, but it's got to be up there. So it's just when you're losing a cross out, it's like you don't want to lose because you don't have another one in your deck, if that makes sense. You want to be more prepared. Like if you lose to Ghost Oak or Ghost Bell, you just kind of like, I don't know, tip your hat. Because you're not always you're not even always going to special summon from the graveyard, so it's not always a great hand trap against you. But yeah, uh, the one ZW Pegasus Twin Saber. So this card's like <laughs> definitely bad to draw. I never want to see this. Hopefully you don't. It's a Garnet. Uh, three Buzzsaw Shark, three Lantern Shark, three ZS Ascend Sage. It's a free special summon. Uh, it gets you to your Hyper Rank Up Magic Force. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then, you know, 10 Goldfish is kind of like an additional normal summon in the deck. And Silent Angler, like the MVP, low key. This card's insane. <laughs> it's just a free special summon, but it's really good because it has a lot of synergy with White Mirror, which I'll show you in one of these combo tutorials. Uh, I do run 10 Yishathana because it's a free uh, four. That's literally used for it. Because uh, if you, like, oh, like these two conflict against each other, but it's like, okay, but if these two are on the field, you just have full combo anyways. So they don't really work against each other too much you just want to see this card because if you can get like three versus like two rank fours like depending on the cards you have it's like so much better so this card ends up working out really well uh this is beautiful princess i think <laughs> however corny way that they've made this but uh when it's normal or special summon you can banish this card especially summon a level four or lower fish type monster from your deck so it's almost always going to be buzz shark not really too sure about this one because this special summon is level fours it's just it just gets you to buzzsaw shark which is just so like it's such a really good card it's like the main card of the deck uh because it you can bring out like silent angler and there's just a lot of synergy so you want to see it more as much as possible even though it's not like the best card um okay so harpy's feather duster i'm kind of main decking right now uh white mirror three copies of those this card is crazy it's a monster reborn plus add so if you didn't use silent angler's effect when it, like you special summon from the deck and then you sent it to the graveyard, you can bring this back. So you just get two four bodies. Very good stuff. Uh, this is the rank up magic um, utopic four. So it's actually like really not that bad at all to draw. It's I wouldn't play three of them, but like if you see it in your opening hand, you're like cool. I just need to make a rank four and I have full combo. Called by the grave, obviously. Uh, two forbidden droplets and one dark roll no more. You could probably just play three forbidden, but. I don't know, whenever I play like cross out, I like to play as much of these kinds of cards as possible. Um, Cause like if they were to activate that and you hit them with this, like you just, they would just lose obviously. That's probably like their biggest going second card. Uh, and then a couple of imperms, talked about that earlier. Uh, going on to the extra decks, obviously just all XYZ monsters. Uh, Zeus, number 99, my favorite tech card, number 92, which I'll talk about like when you should drop this because it shouldn't just be like, if all you can do is like the regular Utopia line and you bring out like Utopia Ray, like you're gonna bring out Hope Harbinger instead. But if you have an additional negate, 99% of the time, I think it's better to summon number 92 because your opponent, like <laughs> they have to spend their entire term getting rid of this card. And if you have like three ways to protect it pretty much, it can't be destroyed by battle either. So you just have to just protect it from like card effects or like shuffling back, uh, which is pretty easy to do when you have like two monster negates and then Sometimes you have a monster negate, like two, three monster negates, an omni negate. Like a lot of it depends on your end board, but there are definitely situations where this is like way better than number 38, at least in my opinion. Uh, this is, yeah, Utopia Ray. I talked about that. Two Bahamut Shark. Uh, this is number S39, Utopia Prime, number 39, Utopia. Just helps you get like four materials as a body. I run Solomon Great Blaze Dragon because it can't, like, if it would be destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you can attach material from it instead. So it's like a decent Zeus play. Like, that's literally the whole point. Because uh, I used to run this, um, like, mini Zodiac package, which was, like, not bad, but I kind of feel like it's even better because, yes, the Zodiac monster could attack directly, and yes, it did give you two possible Zeus, but it could be destroyed by Card Effect. So I just feel like, I don't know. 
like I feel like if I just get one wipe with Zeus, I feel like pretty good about like what I'm doing. Otherwise, like I would have set my board up. I don't know, but I think this is a pretty good alternate. And plus, I really wanted to get number 38 and Hard Earth in the in the extra deck, so that was kind of like my reasoning behind it too. This is ZSV Topic Sage helps you summon this from the deck, so you can just combo at any point. Two totally awesome, and then number F zero. Uh, utopic Draco, Draco Future, Draco. Uh, utopic Future, and then uh, onto the side. Eh, not really. I don't really care about the side deck. I just thought these were other interesting targets uh, more than anything for number ninety nine because it covers a lot of monsters. Uh, number twenty three, Lancelot. So this is like an Omni Negate, um, which is pretty cool. Either player's turn, spell trap or monster effects activated. You can attach. It doesn't destroy, but I don't know. It's because the thing is like oh like you can kind of get a, just another omni on board but like this stays on it has more effects like one omni versus like a spell every turn plus it's like a really big body i go back and forth i think but i think this is at least worth noting like people might want to use this card number 89 i kind of just like this card's art but it does have an interesting effect because if you're playing a combo deck especially now with like one halk might be worth like looking into it striker dragon would also be a really good one so you're playing dragon link like almost all of their plays go through striker dragon if you really think about it so this really might be worth something bringing out i don't know but it does do that and also if you're playing salmon great it also has like a good effect your opponent if a card your opponent uh, owns or possesses banish face down while you control this card you can banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck equal to face down equal to the number of face down banished cards so if like i think as far as i know like if they're at pot of desires and they banish 10 I think this would banish the next 10. So that's like really, really good. Um, so it could be good against a couple of decks. I don't really run it, but maybe I'll run in the side. Eh, I don't know. And then this last one is number 75. Quick effect takes a monster from your opponent's graveyard. So could be good against Despia, just off the top of my head. When they activate Brandon in red, if you could like grab it, like that would probably be pretty good. A um, couple of Dark Ruler Moors. I don't know. Uh, you can run like maybe another Forbidden Droplets, uh, Twin Twisters, Evenly. Uh, the only thing, okay, so the cards that you really need to have, in my opinion, are the uh, Dark Rule and Amores and the Anti Spell Fragrance. Because if you, so, so like if you're comboing through, and let's say you just go through the normal Utopia line, but you have this in your hand, I would definitely go for Hard Earth because they would have to set the cards and then they all get banished. And most of going second cards or breaking board cards are like spell cards. So like this is like a, just a crazy combo together. Wouldn't run it in the main, obviously, because like you have to give yourself a chance to break boards. Uh, but I think it's a really good side deck choice. And pretty much everybody I can think of, like almost every deck is probably playing this in the side right right now. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and go over to the combos just so you can get a little bit of a better understanding. Uh, so this is just a two card combo. Pretty cool. Like I said, that angler when it goes to the graveyard is awesome. There's no one card combos in this duel because it's an XZ deck, so you have to have at least two. But I don't know if you can get two card combos like this going. I feel like you're you have a pretty good chance. Like you're gonna open this like most of the time, right? Um, and then I'll show the other ones. Like what if you have one more extender, right? What if you have one more? Uh, then you can do some really crazy stuff. So this is obviously just ten goldfish is like kind of like an extender. It's just a free uh, special summon. Uh, so it looks really similar, but you just have one extra body, and it's pretty crazy what you can do. So Silent Angler can add itself back. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Now, we, instead of just making, like, another Bahamut Shark and just kind of being happy with that, we can go into Utopic Sage. So then Utopic Sage can go ahead and detach two materials to bring out the Ascend Sage. You still control Water Monster, so you can go ahead and you can go there. Now, we do have, like, four rank fours that aren't doing anything at this point, so you can go ahead and go into number F0. Now you can make uh, Utopia because it has material, boom, or because this is a material with add a rank up magic spell. Easy peasy, so you can grab that. Then you can go to number S39, so now it has four materials, and then you can activate you know, the rank up magic force. Boom, then you can go into number 99. Once during your turn, bring out first the Leo Utopia Ray, permanent Omni Negate, or permanent Monster Negate. <laughs> And then you get another monster negate. So two monster negates on the field. And then during your opponent's turn, of course, if you have this much like negation, two monster negates, an omni negate plus a, another monster negate, you're gonna go for this, like, right? Like if your opponent's has like a back row heavy deck, they just obviously they just lose at this point. <laughs> so you're playing Eldritch, like trap Eldritch, and they try to like it's it. This is the end of the duel. There's literally nothing they can do. 
Um, but I would imagine against most decks, this is pretty good. If your opponent does activate, like, Dark Rule no more, like, fair enough. But at least you have, like, one more not Monster Negate, which, like, after, like, most combo decks, if you activate Dark Rule no more, you just lose. But in this, you actually have, like, at least another chance. Um, but I'll go into the replays. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about those. Um, this is against Branded. So I actually messed up. I messed up really badly. I just showed this, literally just showed this hand. That's kind of, <laughs> and uh, this is, it kind of what inspired me to make that combo video because I messed it up so badly. Um, I definitely should have summoned out Angler. Like I did a lot of like really bad things, uh, but it's fine. I can go into like the regular <laughs> combo. Not that this is bad by anyone's like definition. Two Omni Negate plus like a really good monster Negate. Like I'm doing pretty well. Plus I have two hand traps in hand, but it's fine. Go ahead and let that go through. Um, I'm going to take this so it's like he doesn't have a brain and a red target like automatically. Pretty cool. I can't like there's like some recursion from like branded fusion like in the graveyard. So I'm just going to get both of those and grab both of them. So him not being able to go into his graveyard is obviously like really, really good. Um, so that was like a decent replay, obviously. And then just one more to wrap this all up. See, this is kind of where this is like weird to me. Well, I don't know. So I do get the free special summon. I can go into Buzzsaw Shark, which can summon again. And I do have, like, one more extender. I'm not sure. I may just end up going into the same combo. Um, we'll see. Yeah, it must be. Which is fine. I'm Like I said, it's like a really, really good setup. I think even then I had, like, way more to combo through. But, um, okay, Dragon Shrine's fine. Go ahead. And I can go ahead and, you know, negate that. There's no real reason to grab it, but you never know. Why not? <laughs> uh, so he's going to try to summon out of Blue Eyes. That's fine. And then, you know, Harpy's Feather Jester does the rest. But it's cool because, like, after, like, Totally Awesome goes down, like, sometimes decks just kind of cheese out Totally Awesome. Like, but in this, it's like you're adding back a Water Monster, which this equals a rank four. And this also can special summon that out. So, like, you get a lot more, like, value and, like, really, really good value. You get your play started back, which is awesome. Like, through your negate. So you get... You're getting a good setup plus follow-up, which is, like, really important in Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously. Um, not the greatest deck in the world, <laughs> uh, but I think it's really fun to play. Definitely something I would, like, pick up and, you know, just mess around with. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time.